Good afternoon, class. Today is Thursday, June 16th, and I am Professor Hessen. I'll be your professor today. Now, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. Before you all go, Oh, learning, I hate learning, ah, oh, it's so boring, ah, uh, uh. We're gonna make this interesting, okay? I'm gonna do my best to make this as interesting as possible and teach you guys what you want to learn. So, if you'll open up to lesson one in your books, I will begin teaching. So, the first thing I'm going to be teaching you all this class period is how to fly. There are four things you need in order to fly, and I'm going to go through that list right now. The first thing you need in order to fly is wings. The second thing you need in order to fly is the appropriate strength to carry yourself on those wings. The third thing you need in order to fly is the feathery lightness that comes with being feathery light. And the final thing that you need is your brain, because that's always the most important tool you have. So, now that you know what you need, you might be all, but Professor Hessian, now that we know what we need, how are we supposed to use them? I'm getting to that, I'm getting to that. I will tell you exactly how you use them. So, in order to make wings, we look to the ancients to figure out exactly what we want to do. So in order to make wings, we need some feathers and we need some wax. Now, once we do that, we can make some wings out of our arms and stuff, and we got wings for arms and whatnot. And the next thing you need is strength. In order to get the strength that you need, you just have to be awesome. That's, that's just true. You, in order to get the strength to fly, you need to be awesome. So... Work on that and you'll be able to fly, no problem. The next thing you need is the feathery lightness, and in order to get the feathery lightness you need the feathers, which you have because the wings are made out of feathers and wax, and to get the lightness part of the feathery, you, uh, you be feathery light. So, uh, get your feathery lightness on. Last thing you need is your brain. In order to use your brain, you, uh, well, if you don't know how to use your brain, then I don't know how you're here, so I would kindly ask you to walk out of the classroom. That's a little disappointing. It really is. Now, class, if you'll please open up to lesson two in our books, we'll move on. The next thing we're going to learn today is how to learn any language. Not programming languages, like spoken languages and whatnot. There are many steps to learn a language, and I'm going to go through them with you all. I'm not going to explain the steps because that might take a little long, so I'm just going to read the steps, and you kind of have to figure it out yourself. This may or may not be from WikiHow. Step one, study the pronunciation of language first. Step two, practice short social questions and sentences first. Step four, purchase a quality dictionary of the language you wish to learn. Step five, Purchase a quality translation dictionary, which will translate from your native language to the language you wish to learn. Step 6. Find materials to read in the language you wish to learn. Step 7. Study the grammar. Step 9. Obtain teacher's textbooks of the languages you wish to learn, both high school and lower grades. Step 13. Enroll in a class. Step 16. Work on your vocabulary. Step 20. Educate yourself in the cultural aspect. Step 22. Find conversation partners. Step 23. Break down your mental barriers. And step 24. Practice, because practice makes perfect. Please note that these steps have not been listed in order of importance, but have been listed in order of whatever order they decided to list them on. Now, for the final thing I'm going to be teaching you today and for the rest of the semester is the word of the day. Today's word of the day is brindled. It is an adjective, and it means gray or tawny with darker streaks or spots. Moving on to the next let yeah, yes, what is that in the back? Oh, this isn't learn everything from Professor Hassan 101? What class is this then? Uh it's architecture with Professor Mosby? Well, I can teach you architecture. Please note that there are three kinds of ancient Greek columns. There is Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I hope you learned something interesting today, and I hope you have a great rest of the week, and a great rest of the day, and a great rest of the semester with Professor Mosby. I will not see you tomorrow.